So the fishing here in Iceland is, it's salmon fishing, but it's not salmon fishing like you would know it in Norway, Sweden, Scotland, or probably anywhere else. It's, it's less water, it's really clear. Fish are really aggressive on the surface. Um, you can use lighter tackle. It's, in this part of the country, it's only uh, single-handed rods. Uh, so it's more sort of a trout fishing for salmon. Here at the Hökedalsá we have a 90-day season starting around the 20th of June and ending in the middle of September. Prime time being around the last two weeks of July and the first two weeks of August. Uh, the water is uh, really stable for this part of the region, because part of the country, because we have uh, an enormous lake here at the top, 43 meters deep, that supplies us with water uh, all summer long. We don't get the dramatic droughts that some rivers get and get completely unfishable. Although, of course, we do get low water conditions. Uh, the salmon holding in uh, 40 mar marked pools on the area. Um, average size around six pounds, but fish up to a, a 17, 18 pounds caught every, every year. Um, and if you need a change of scenery, we have a lovely tributary called Tuero running just outside this window here for 13 kilometers, uh, running in deep gorges and canyons. Uh, big fish in small water. It's just lovely to take, a, if you have the time, just take a horse trip up there, get some Icelandic local horses, and take your tent up there, camp at the, at the waterfall, and spend the next day walking down. Just really nymphing, light tackle, trout fishing for Atlantic salmon. Beautiful scenery. No roads, no noise, just sheep and salmon. Every rod is assigned a double bed bedroom with ensuite bathroom. Uh, we also supply a, a, a spring-fed hot tub and a, and a sauna, which is nice after a long day on the long day on the river. Uh, we've just refurbished our lodge, done a complete makeover of it, uh, brought in a master chef. Uh, food is really nice. We take it up to the highest standard. Obviously, we do use a number of techniques for fishing for salmon in Iceland. Uh, very commonly used is the hitch technique or the skating of the fly. Uh, used with a floating line and a short tippet, and a tight angled 45 degree drift. Uh, I, I guess, uh, you know, we use different sizes. This would be a big one, a, a sunray shadow type of thing. Um, with a hole on the side where you stick your leader in so it skates high on the surface. Uh, this would be the other end of the spectrum, a micro hitch, which uh, you would use a size 16 or 18 hook. Um, you fish them the same way, you, you just let them drift on the surface and the fish will rise to it. Very good for fresh fish or even in uh, late season when you're trying to move uh, old fish. Extremely effective. And, Definitely right now the most popular way of fishing in Iceland. Um, if you just uh, normal techniques, just your normal salmon drift. Uh, in this part of the country where we have lower water levels, uh, we, your normal double or treble hook, lightly dressed. This is a blue charm right here, size about 14. Uh, low water hook, really nice fly for just everyday conditions. Personal favorite, actually. Um, if you want to get it uh, a little bit under the surface, still using only floating lines, since, like you can see, the water is, is crystal clear and not so high, so you can get the fish easily to rise to it. We use uh, various sizes of cone hats or, or brass tubes. This is a Black Francis pattern here. Very, uh, it's a quarter inch. I'd say, uh, very effective. If, if, you, if you're not moving the fish to the surface, something like this will, will definitely increase your chances of catching a fish. Nice male fish, about 90 centimeters long. Seven kilos, seven and a half kilo, eight kilos. It came for the fly three times uh, on the surface. I was using a skating uh, large hitch tube. 
and in the fourth try it just jumped completely out, grabbed it on his way up. The rest was 50 minutes of fighting it on a five weight Samel before landing it. So I'm a very happy man. So early season here, late, late June, early July is, is a really sought after time here because you've got the midnight sun, uh, you got big fish running in the river, early season springers. Uh, you might get lucky even with, uh, with the grills run, but you're going to have a higher average weight than your normal fishing trip in Iceland. So great big fish on light tackle, so I, I, I would definitely recommend early season in Iceland. We are very proud of this river. It's a beautiful, uh, nice, gin clear, five rod fishery with a nice lodge. And hopefully, we'll see some of the readers of Fisker Journal joining us for fishing in the next few years. Thank you.